gods and goddesses, the standards have been set, but did you raise the bar? My name's Anuki. Let's see what you've got. It's all out level one fighting between denial and dignitas, positioning and focusing in its primest form. Athena is the focus, she gets knocked out of Solar Blessing by Unher's Impel, and that does cost them the kill. She makes it home safely, taking some dominative scratches to the back, courtesy of Bastet, who is now in far too deep. Bastet is trying to position herself with the rest of her team. Unher and Bastet are both rooted to the ground by Neve's Spirit Arrow. This proves catastrophic for both of the cats. A little less time licking themselves and more time paying attention to positioning relative to their team, and they may have survived. Blue team is pursuing the enemy and noticed the attention on Sobek, the next ideal target for assassination, trying to lock him in with body blocking. One more arrow locks Sobek to the ground and Team Dignitas score an amazing 3 for 0 at the start of the game. Bacchus places a ward. Wait, what? Why? Let's flash forward two minutes and find out. Contestation at the Gold Fury, it is Sobek which manages to steal with Hand of the God. Guan Yu and Sobek are both absorbing blows, awaiting their teammates to arrive. It's purely an attempt to stall and keep the enemy locked in combat. Just when they are both ready to disengage, Thor initiates a second diagnosis of pain, just missing Neve on the landing. Beads on Poseidon makes him immune, allowing him to escape to the comfort of his tower. Agni dashes in half-cocked when Vermana teleports to the tower. Red Team launches a counter-attack, mainly focusing Sobek as he is the most vulnerable. Thor sticks around to help Agni escape for as long as he can. Agni is captured, trapped in his Aegis, but a fantastic dash saves him. Thor's second saves him, though, with that extra tectonic rift. Nobody dies. Oh, what a happy ending! It's all wards and flames until someone loses an eye. What happened behind those bushes was too mutilated to be shown. The new Meta has brought about lots of deep fights. Purification beats on need prevents her from a pillar and pale fury. Still lots of damage from Sniper and her though, Bacchus goes in for the tower dive, intoxicates hit, but Neve cowers behind the tower. All out focus on Bacchus lurking in the water's world, Weaver and Charging Prey in close proximity of each other. On her situational awareness, Caesar hunts out behind him, he impels him farther away, enabling him to Aegis the overhead smash. Double jump out of there as Athena arrives, Sobek takes the ruffle stump of Athena's ultimate, meanwhile in Beatbox Town, Vimana is trying to finish off Neat. Armored Umbrella gets her right as Vimana gets death by tower. Redemption is had when Athena kills Sobek as this fight equalizes as a two for two trade. Many moments to be had here. This purification beat really defines the battle as it results in Bacchus committing himself into the tower later on to try and finish the job. Some good shots there from Anha too. A quick rank one Aegis is all it takes to prolong one's life significantly. Anha then chucks down a shifting sands to keep the targets in range of Athena's Defender of Olympus. Sobek makes a fatal move to come back to the tower, and Athena picks up on the low health tank, making this play an equal trade of blows. Poseidon. The city of Middle Tower is under attack! But thanks to this brave Guan Yu focusing down primary water blast cannon Hebo, Poseidon is able to up the antics with a fearsome release of the Kraken, striking down four soluble targets. Never mind the three victims of that attack, Odin is making a last stand for Asgard. And might I be the one to say, Odin, that Asgard looks upon this last stand with disgrace. This play is the case of friendship being magic. Both Guan Yu and Thor set the team up for a devastating conundrum of area effect attacks. This was a split second decision from playing defensively to all in attacks from all five players. AC walks away with the credit, though, for contributing the most damage. Bloody Poseidons. Always the center of attention. On her. He's back with another Anher play. Don't we have other pro people that play this game? Courageous lunge forward into Sobek's manly arms. On her dodges the Vanish and lines up Freya with a pillar impale. It's a good target to focus, and he maintains his distance to dodge incoming attacks. With Freya furiously defeated, on her is low on health. He gets thrown back, which would have killed him if that was ranked up. The last impale straight into the tower turns this lizard Hulk green. 
It takes some fancy footwork to outmaneuver a Freya player, and this situation could have been handled better by Sobek to protect his death-dealing, rainbow-wielding mage assassin. It takes a good player to exploit the weakness of the enemy, though, and with the help of CC immunity, he avoids being tail-whipped. Positioning kills, and Sobek found himself with his back to the tower, while Zabman found his impale off cooldown. I've got to put the flesh back on the gods for next time. My name's Anuki. I'm going into the jungle.